and welcome back to the Angry Buddha Official. I'm your host Justin, and I hope all of you are doing well. I have a little something for y'all. I've actually made a couple <laughs> reviews already, um, but I was having some technical difficulties with my phone. I had to get rid of some storage. So I'm testing it out now to see if I can do it off of my phone and get rid of some storage. I had to remove data, so or remove pictures and all kinds of other crap, so I could have storage. But anyway, um, uh, so we're gonna check it out and see if I can just film it from the phone that I have, or I might have to use an old phone that's actually like even better. Um, uh, got stuff falling out all over the place right there. Anyways, okay. So, I hear with this one, you either love it or hate it. And, um, uh, yeah, it's definitely a weird one. Um, I hadn't had this before. I have cracked into it. But, uh, and I'm glad I did because I needed to make sure, uh, I knew what I was getting into. Anyway, let's get right into it. Toke 10 here. And what is it? Toke cheese and bacon. Okay. Hold up. This thing has like three different profiles. First off, in the tin, I smell blue cheese. And we'll get into it. I'll really do it. But I wanted to explain because I haven't forgotten. Surprisingly. Um, uh,. It smells like blue cheese, dude. I opened it up. It smells kind of like a smoky, funky blue cheese. Yes, and it's kind of like for excuse me, I don't know. I know if with I noticed with like real che real blue cheese. Like I like I like all different types of cheese. I love cheese, man. Um, uh, I like uh, I like blue cheese sometimes, just a little bit, not like a lot, just a little bit. But this. I notice that like, if I eat too much blue cheese, or if I take like too th a bite of it, like a big bite of it, like by itself, I kind of get like a headache or something. Something's going on there. Anyway, that's what it reminds me of is blue cheese. When you sniff it, it goes from like smoky cheddar to straight up dirty socks. I'm not kidding. It smells like dirty socks, maybe some body odor, and then again. It changes and for me at least and it smelled like uh, it smelled like cheddar in the end but I'm uh lay out like a deep like a, a sharp cheddar which I usually like kind of like a smoky sharp cheddar now okay I'm gonna do this this one is just for fun I can tell you right now that um, you know, if I do use this later on we'll see what happens if I come back to it later but uh, this is one that I'm going to still preserve. I don't know why, but I'm going to still preserve it and put it up. Toke, cheese, and bacon. Let's open it up. And see what we got. I don't even have to put it up to. It's like blue cheese and per permanent marker. Tilt pen. Something like that. Slash smoky. There's a, a hint of this cheese in the background there, like regular cheese. But it's, uh, yeah. I kind of feel bad I'm even going to do this, God. Uh, excuse me. I don't know. The other day, I ain't going to lie, I kind of enjoyed it. And it was weird, because even though it was weird, and I kind of liked it. See, that's the thing about all this. I didn't even mention that. Here's the thing about all this. I kind of like it in a weird, weird way. I don't. Can't really uh, decide. Let's see. I don't have a big pinch here, but it's decent enough to where I'm gonna have to smell this shit for a little while. So, and the thing about it, also, you know, I know a lot of people know that, you know. Okay, I love toke. Not all of them are like this, but there's quite a few. I think we all know toke's uh, flavors don't necessarily always last as long as you'd like them to. Great stuff, great stuff, great quality, great company. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to get a little more. I'm gonna have to redo that one. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, out of all of them, though, even out of my favorites, I feel like this one smells very, very strong. 
and it stays with you. So it's like, damn it, why this one? But at the same time, I'm not gonna lie, it's not bad. Maybe if you're eating like a hot dog or something, I had some so gross, no one would juice it up and eat a hot dog. I mean, snuff after a meal is nice, but I just don't really compare like smoking a pancake bacon and cheese snuff with a hot dog Oof. but I can imagine maybe eating something smoky and then enjoying this afterwards it, it could happen you can't say that wouldn't happen because that's something that could totally happen but this is just weird okay let's let's check it out oh and right now I'm not really feeling it instantly cheesy Right now it's just smelling like sweaty and cheesy. And the thing is, is like, I probably sniff a little too hard. Not really, I don't sniff too hard to where it goes up into my sinuses. It goes where it needs to, but I think sometimes I sniff too hard where it goes just in my throat. And, which that's okay, I don't mind it sometimes, sometimes I kind of enjoy it. But with this, yeah. Ah, it's horrible. It smells like I'm in a daycare. <laughs> If you've been in a daycare, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. That stinky old people, small child, poopy diaper, sweat smell. You know what I'm talking about. Just that smell. See, right now, I'm not feeling it. The profile could change, but I'm not going to lie to you. I've been sniffing Silky Dark all day by Samuel Gallith and um, going to this cheese and bacon. It's not right. When you blow it out, too. I don't know if you notice, a lot of times when like the scents go away and snuffs that I use, when I go to blow out the nasty shit, I get that smell again, and it leaves behind a trace, a, sm a, a smell behind in the nose after all those brown boogies are out and all that. But, some about this one, man. It leaves behind a smoky, stinky body odor smell. I guess you just kind of have to really be in the mood for it. Maybe it's because I ate some cheese the other day or something. I ate some like sharp, some little slice of sharp cheddar. And I don't know. I mean, that kind of makes sense of why I, when my profile was like, okay, I'm all right with this. Or the profile was, I'm all right with this, but now I just feel like I got like ass type of assy, cheesy assy smell in my nose. How would I know what a cheesy ass smells like? I don't know. But, that's what I imagine. Anyways, that's it for you. This was going to be a quick one because I was just suffering for y'all. Um, didn't really show it too much, but I was. Anyways, disgusting, gross. But, not uh not the worst like i said it's changed before on me before where it was okay this time was wretched i don't recommend you order this unless you really really are into artificial like cheese and bacon flavors or some shit like that right now my nose is not thinking me i'm not thinking myself and it smells like some kind of assy cheese smell so i will see y'all later and take care